Robot guinea pig. Animals are frequently used as a model organism for human health related experiments. Guinea pig has been the lab animal in scientific experimentation since 17th century, but it has been largely replaced by other rodents in recent years. Chinese usually go with the term white mouse. Whether guinea pig or white mouse, researchers are now testing medicines on a silicon chip that could provide a better read on the effects of a drug. At Merck and Co's labs in Boston, researchers are building organs on a chip and are looking at using a lung-like system, a few square inches microchip, to resemble a diseased lung in their hunt for a new asthma treatment. This lung on a chip is able to demonstrate the feasibility of the concept. Although the highly integrated microchip could replicate many of the important functions, it doesn't recreate everything a lung does. It consists of a see-through strip of silicone rubber about the size of a USB memory stick with tiny hollow channels through which the air and fluid can pass. These channels are split by a flexible membrane whose sides are lined by walls of human lung tissues and blood vessel cells. As in a living lung, air flows through the human lung cells lining on one side of the membrane, while a fluid mimicking blood passes by the capillary blood vessels on the other side. Likewise, the researchers afflicted the lung on a chip with a condition known as pulmonary edema or fluid in the lungs, which makes breathing difficult. Researchers at Harvard University's Weiss Institute infected the lung on a chip by sending bacteria through the lung cells and then watched the immune cells flock together and attack the bacteria, just as it happens in the real organ. Pharmaceutical companies should have taken advantage of this powerful new tool to avoid wasting millions of dollars in developing compounds that would flame out. However, Drug manufacturers are still vetting the initial entries while various laboratories try to develop chips mimicking the function of the kidney, liver, and other organs. There's a lot of additional work that's needed before these systems can completely replace our current methods in evaluating the safety or effectiveness of a drug. It is a long way to go, says Douglas Throckmorton, Deputy Director for Regulatory Science at the FDA's Drug Division. Currently, the technology is still a work under improving development. Regulators are not yet ready to scrap the need of animal testing or other current methods because whether this organ on a chip would be safe and effective enough to be experimented and tested on human patients is still a controversial issue.